There is no longer any legal impediment to the presidency of Ferdinand Marcos Jr. The Supreme Court has dismissed two petitions questioning his candidacy, saying that he is qualified to run and to be elected to public office. Thirteen justices agree that Marcos Jr.'s certificate of candidacy is valid and is in accordance with the law. Two justices, meanwhile, did not take part in the deliberations. These are Justice Henry Inting and Justice Antonio Co. Inting's sibling is incumbent Comelec Commissioner Socorro Inting, while Co. is a former Comelec Commissioner. Recall that civic leaders represented by lawyer Ted Te went to the Supreme Court to question Comelec's decision junking their petition to cancel Marcos Jr.'s COC. In their petition, Te stressed that Marcos Jr. was convicted by final judgment for violating the National International Revenue Code, and that the COMLEC was duty-bound to enforce such perpetual disqualification resulting from his conviction. A separate petition, meanwhile, was filed by martial law victims to disqualify him. They insisted that Marcus Jr. committed a crime of moral turpitude and perjury for making false representations in his COC on his eligibility to seek the presidency despite his tax conviction. But Comlec has since rejected this argument, saying that tax law applicable to Marcus Jr. does not perpetually disqualify him from holding public office. The camp of Marcus Jr. said all of these cases have been resolved and dismissed at the Comlec, adding that the people have spoken and the result is clear based on the election result. But the fight isn't over for the petitioners as they can still file a motion for reconsideration. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, we are One News.